Welcome to Beyond Press Channel. Today we are going to make video where I film gaming PC with thermal camera while it's running. And we can see how the different components are heating up. We have my new gaming PC. It's from Jim's PC store. And it's, I think it's quite high and it has the best Keyforce uh, 1080 graphics card and really fast processor and SSD hard drives and lot of really fast memory and all the good stuff. And it has been powered down for about one hour now, so it's quite cold. And we are going to start it and first we are just do some normal things and after that we are going to run some performance tests and maybe play some games with the computer. So here is the uh, startup of the computer. Now I turn the power on. You can see the fans are turning and a couple of things are warming up. The quite big thing on the uh, below the graphics card is SSD hard drive. It's my like main hard drive. It's a bit smaller and it has windows and other stuff in there. So it's needed on the startup. And the like processor coolers and Graphics card are not heating in this moment at all. And now the computer has been on for like 5 or 10 minutes and I am doing just regular internet browsing and other light stuff and the individual parts aren't that hot. The heat just has spread all over the motherboard and according to my analytic software, the uh, CPU and graphics card both are about 35 degrees Celsius, so they are quite cold at this moment. And here is 3D Mark uh, performance test software running. It's 10 times the speed to go through it a bit faster. And it's meant to be like playing games, so it's using the graphics card and processor and system as a whole and we can see that especially the graphics card gets quite hot I don't have the like computer's own data for this we are doing just the graphics card later but here you can see that the whole thing is quite hot and it would be probably even hotter when the case is closed and the airflow isn't this good and because everybody wants to know here is the result of that test I have no idea is this good or bad probably quite good because this is quite expensive machine so now we are going to solve some prime numbers and it's going to produce very high temperature to uh, processor and I have my IDA64 here ready here is your I think this one is like the base of the processor and here are individual uh, cores of the thing so I'm going to start this now and let's see how it's going to get some heat and here is the thermal image of the processor you can see it it's that yellow reddish thing and the green blue thing on top of it is the cooler and it is really hard to film because it's so shiny metal that it reflects heat very well around it but at least we can see the processor and the like green noodles from that thing are the heat pipes that should like get the heat out of the processor to the actual like cooling fins and to the airflow but we are going to now start it and let's see how it goes 
So everything is running 100% and I checked from the internet that everything below 100 isn't gonna damage anything and now we are well, well below that around 60 to 50 degrees quite cool still and everything is running just fine and how is your our thermal camera looking and, and as you can see this is really hard to film because the processor is under the big shiny metal block so it's really hard task for thermal camera but the part that is just over the processor like the metal that uh, drafts the heat from the processor to the cooler is about 50 degrees at the hottest points and usually a bit less and the actual cooler didn't heat up much at all I try touched it by, with my hand even to check if the thermal camera is doing all right and it was because it was just barely warm so it's quite effect effective and and I don't know how long you should run this kind of tests the temperatures at this point were, were very stable you can see that the thermal image don't change and the uh, analytics software were also saying that the temperature is steady bit under 60 degrees celsius so I think that's quite go like good temperature to be running so the cooler is effective enough and probably there is even some room to overclock the thing if I want yeah but I think this is the professor si professor side of the thing and let's try with the graphics card and here is the stress test for the uh, graphics card it's just the same 3d mark performance test as before it's just uh, runs like the uh, hardest part of the uh, test for graphics card all over the again as long as you want so you can heat the card up as you as much as you want and it's quite hard place to film again because the massive processor cooler is on the way and on the lower side there's just plastic cooler fins and stuff like that but we can see that the some parts get actually quite hot around 70 degrees and the analytic program were saying same thing that they are about 70 so that's quite hot much hotter than anything with the processor but it was completely okay for doing this around 15 minutes that I waited so no problems at all and here is the actual thing that is happening on your screen so I think this is like worst case that you can have ever in video game in terms that what you are seeing there is really lot of lights reflections and complicated stuff going on on the screen and here is the same situation bit farther back you can see that the graphics card is completely quite warm and the rest of computer isn't doing that much the SSD is slightly warm and much of heat that you can see is actually reflections of the hot graphics card from the other parts and the uh, big thing on the lower part of the screen which is mildly warm is actual uh, like power source of the computer and the warm round thing on the left side is motor for the like main fan of the case yeah but I think that there was the most like important performance test that you can do and I did this again with the case closed and there wasn't any big difference so the like airflow on the case is pretty good 
and I list all the parts of the computer on description so if you are interested on those can, you can check that out and I also attach the link to the Kim's PC store where you can buy similar computer or some other computers they do like custom computers also so you can change the parts if you want and I think that it is like cool thing to do is to build your own computer but I didn't have the time for that and I needed really high-end computer to be able to edit 4k stuff and of course play some games so I'm glad I found this this has been working really fine and the and the story behind this thermal video things is of course the fact that we have access to really good FLIR thermal camera so thank you for FLIR for that and I have completely own channel for this stuff it's called thermal guys but the like footage that I do with thermal cameras it was a bit different that I first thought it's as you can see it's really technical and I have to explain a lot of things so I felt that the, my original idea of thermal guys as a different channel which wouldn't be as technical as the Beyond the Press channel isn't probably good idea because these are even more technical than my typical Beyond the Press videos so probably I am going to just release these on Beyond the Press channel and I think it's also better for like YouTube algorithm to make four videos per week or three on one channel then two or three on one and one on another channel it's better to release quite often videos on one channel to get more views of course <laughs> so I'm going to start releasing these on this channel from now on I have a lot of videos already filmed and we are going to get even better camera probably in future so I'm really excited about these thermal camera videos even if I'm not going to continue with the thermal guys channel itself yeah but I think that is all for today thank you for watching and have a nice day